Morning. It's just like a big old box of nostalgia right here. Yeah. When I get, that's like these last box I get to because it comes out fast. If you see, like I've got stuff already organized and bins in it. So oh, it's like nice. Boom, boom, boom. I kind of like go through the messy stuff first and then that one's like pretty easy. Yeah. When you're, when you're wore out and you're like, I can't do another. Okay. I'll do it's a lot of work. Hey. Have a good one. Morning. Where is everybody this morning? It's dead. Oh. What are you on your cooler? 20 dollars. 20 bucks? That's cool. Would you go 15 on it? Uh, I'll go 17. Deal. There you go. Thanks, sir. Okay, thank you. Have Good luck to you. Day. Morning. Good morning. You selling that bag? I'm sorry? You selling that bag? Well, yeah, I could. Is that from a high school? Yep. That is neat. What are you getting me for? That's got a $5 tag on it. It looks like the right price. Probably what I paid for. Is it worth 10? I'll give you 10. There you go. Thank you, sir. Dark County, north of Dayton. Interesting. Is it still there, the high school? Sure. Yeah. They won a bunch of state championships back in the 90s. And Interesting. One or two sets. It's in great condition for how old it is. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank you. Just some kind of homemade phone? It's not homemade. That's factory made from the late 60s. Seriously? Yeah. That's wild. You know it's factory made. Definitely. It's the only thing it's missing is the little handle to hold it on the side. Huh. I take 34. Go 15 on the pair, yeah, sure. All right, that's fair. There you go, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Have a good day, you too. Yeah, what's up? Love your channel. Thanks, man. What's your name? Andy, I'm My John. And I are set up down there for the first time. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. We, we selling stuff? Videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just go to the basement. Yeah. Right now. This is a great spot. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be Trader's World was like the spot to go to, but yeah. this is where everybody comes now. Actually, some of the regulars this morning were like a little disgruntled, like they disappointed with the lake giving up showing up. Like I guess they, they like think they rain's in the forecast, so that scares yeah. them away. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, how far down are you? I'll come check you out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess 
one, two, three, four, five, then my wife. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's got clothes and stuff. And awesome. Just a bunch of junk. Yeah. She'd love to see you. We yeah. Love your videos. Great well, maybe I'll uh, catch you when I go by then. Thanks. Nice yeah. meeting you. And the other was uh, more of a 90s style. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah Those yeah. Cooper sounds are really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's my wife, Melissa. Hi. Hey, how are you? Yeah, how are you doing? It's nice to meet you. No, I don't. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you guys selling a lot then, huh? Well, yeah. Do you send them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only stay for half a day. That's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah I yeah, couldn't yeah. stay here all day. Oh. Especially when it says humid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no it's way. Yeah. yeah. This is our last time for the summer. This guy was using this um, to hold his uh, like cover of his tent. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, "Are you selling that?" He's like, "I can." <laughs> and he sold the price tag where he bought it for five. I gave him ten. Nice. It's probably from the '60s. It's really old. Yeah, it's from Dayton. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's pretty neat. I paid seventeen for that. I love the vintage yeah. stuff. I like finding the vintage when uh, I can. Yeah. 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 You guys do a lot of eBay? She used I used to. to. Yeah. To pay for my daughter's point shoes. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, when I was a stay at home mom. Yeah. Yeah. Because point shoes were like 125 a pound. Yeah. And they grew through them fast. So, yeah. That's but now, great. Now I'm, I had a great job. Yeah. I don't need to do this. Yeah. But... It's just fun. Yeah. yeah. I find it fun. Yeah. It is a good time. Yeah. It was nice to meet you, though. Hey, yeah, good nice luck to you. Too. What's up, stranger? Hey, what's going on today? How you been? Oh, not bad. Got a lot of nice uh, 70s cars. Yeah? You been buying a bunch? Yeah, at an auction. Yeah. I, I picked up a big batch at an auction. Monster comics. Uh, I don't... Oh my God, there. I'll just have to come through and see. What's up, Bill? Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Do you do uncut sheets at all? Not Chicago a whole lot. Bulls. That is cool. That is really neat. I know that one goes for about $25 a lot. I mean, the regular yeah. card. I don't know. what I, I have nothing. You don't see no a lot of the uncut with. sheets. That's neat. Yeah. I'd do, do 10 if you're interested in it. I think I'll pass on it. That okay. is cool, though. All right. Do you see these autograph magazines? Whoa, you know, that's a couple, cool. A couple Jim Browns. Huh. Now, some of these autographs aren't on the actual covers. Mm -hmm. Like Stan Musel, there's a page in here. If you open it up, the guy had an autograph. Uh, an, an old guy back in the day, I was talking to him, he said he used, used to take magazines around and get them autographed. No way. There's a Warren Spawn, a Brooks Robinson in there, two, cool. two Jim Browns. Have, uh, yeah, you gotta send them to um, JSA. Oh, and pay, yeah, you know, 20 nice bucks get, a pop, and then yeah. you could triple your price on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I don't if I don't get rid of them soon, that's probably what I'll end up doing with them. People are just too skittish with I all know. the stuff, you know what I mean? And, like, and th th this guy I was talking to, I, I, I know he's pretty leg legit. That's good, so I yeah. Knew. And I, I I went online and looked, they looked identical. That's good. Real autograph. What is it? Yeah, you need a bag? On your uh, okay, hockey, you. on your hockey, would you go 15? I'll do that. All right, appreciate it, man. All right. I think so. Hold on there. Oh, my God. 
can't even see my eyes back here. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Good All luck right. to you. All right. I appreciate it. You need a bag? I'm going to put it right in here. I bought okay. a bag earlier. All right. Thank you. Where are you in a trash can? Did you go three? <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. Huh. <laughs> sir, what do you got in your uh, firefighter extinguisher thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. 20 bucks. Did you go 10? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The table. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go, Tim. Here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thanks. So, what are you asking on these uh, little houses? Um, ten a piece. I'll take them both. There you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Back at the house, I went to the flea market today and didn't find a ton of stuff, but what I did find, I'm really happy with. I got this vintage Coca-Cola, and then on the other side, it says Diet Coke. This is a metal cooler, and you open it up, it holds six cans. This is from, I think, like the 70s or 80s. It's not super valuable. I paid 17 for it and selling between like 35 and 40. So there's a little bit of profit to be made on that. This is super cool. Um, the guy was pulling out um, like a tarp for his tent or something that was in this bag. And I was like, hey, is the bag for sale? And he's like, it can be. Um, it still had the price tag of $5 where he had bought it. So I paid him 10. He was happy to double his money. This is a school up north of Dayton, Ohio. And I don't know that it's specifically somebody from there that's gonna buy it, but it just has a cool graphic with the tiger on both sides, still in good shape. Uh, these kinds of vintage bags have a pretty good demand. I think I can get 40 to 50 bucks for that. These are super cool. Please be on the lookout when you guys are out and about for these metal license plate frames. People with the old vintage cars, they wanna put these on the cars. They wanna find something that actually matches, you know, the era of the car instead of like plastic or something like that. I paid 15 for the pair. You can regularly get 25 to 30 for these. And there are some that are super rare that can go like $100 or more. So just keep an eye out. A lot of times if it's from like a certain dealership and uh, the person will look up and research where the car was originally sold and find that dealership and then find the frame for that. Got this firefighter extinguisher, brass. This thing's going for like 40 or 50 bucks. So I was thrilled to find that. Got this little Tweety Bird and Sylvester the Cat trash can for a few bucks. No sales. I couldn't even find any active ones. That could be a long tail item. I'm not sure. I got a whole box of Bowman hockey from 90. There's no uh, like hot rookies or anything like that in here. Uh, but there's what, 36 packs I think in here? How many packs? Yeah, 36 packs. Um, I've got some friends that like to open packs on uh, TikTok. So I was just going to send some of these out to them, uh, you know, for some of their TikTok footage. So Rod picking and punching, Tim over the years, Carrie, American Arbitrage, uh, all good friends of mine. I'm just going to send them out 12 packs each to uh, put in their collection to, you know, rip for uh, TikTok footage. I paid 15 for the box. It's worth like 20 to 25 so no real value there, but I think those guys will get a kick out of that. And I'll put a link down below to uh, all their channels if you want to check them out. All great guys. Okay, these are really cool. I think I paid five a piece for these. Um, this one is Lamax. I don't know if this one's Department 56 or Lamax, uh, but they are both um, Halloween like spooky houses. In the Department 56, you know, realm and the Lamax village, the Halloween stuff does the absolute best. Um, some of the other stuff can do really good too, but it seems like the Halloween stuff goes for the most. Um, these, from what I could tell, are going for $40 to $50 each. There's some bigger ones, some more rare ones that go in the hundreds. So anytime you see this Department 56 stuff or, you know, Lamax or whatever it is, 
uh, at least look it up because there can be some value. Now, obviously, there's so many of those things made that the demand isn't super high on all of them, but some of them do have really good demand and sell really well. So if you see them, they're cheap enough, at least look it up. Usually there'll be a model number or something like that. Uh, that's where you can look it up and see what the sell-through rate is and what it's worth. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.